Hello everyone, my name is Kaz and today I have a few unboxings. So we have the August Illumicrate August Fairy Loot. July, I believe, YA Chronicles, they do their boxes every other month, so I, if memory serves correctly, I think it's July. And also the Deviate YA Chronicles box. So, without further ado, let's get started. First up we have the August Illumicrate box, the theme of which is armed and dangerous. So let's see what we have in the box. Ooh, okay. I like the look of this one. So we have a mug, first of all. Is this for Darker Shade of Magic? It kind of looks like it could be. A stone's throw. Yes, yes, a Darker Shade of Magic. Oh my god, this is exciting. <laughs> oh my lord. Oh, this is beautiful. So we have Kel and Lila from the Darker Shade of Magic series by V.E. Schwab on this gorgeous, gorgeous mug. Oh, this is beautiful. My babies, my beautiful babies. So this gorgeous, gorgeous mug is designed by Rosie Thorns 88. I am in love. So, ooh, this looks really cute. Also, there's like a couple of little ones on it. It looks magical. This is called a weapons bag from Chatty Nora with these really, really cute ones insignia. Oh, I love it. That's so adorable. Ooh, I wonder what this is. <gasps> Whoa. Oh my god! This is fucking awesome. Excuse me. But this is so cool. We have a bottle opener with this super epic scythe on it that says, Never lose your humanity. This is designed by Dust and Pages and it is amazing. I love this. I love this. Oh my gosh. I love that this is just a really gorgeous item that's also very useful as well. I don't even have a bottle opener, so... This is definitely going to come in handy. Next up, we have this ninth house thingy, my bob. What is this? I wonder if these are cards. Oh, this is so cool! It says ninth house along the thing, and I don't think it's for ninth house by Lee Bardugo, but it relates to the book included in this month's box. So we have the houses from two until nine, and it has a little bit of information about the different houses, um, the colors, strengths, weaknesses. That is super cool, and I think these would actually be incredibly useful whilst actually reading the book included in this box because if I'm ever confused about which house is which I can just refer to the information on the back of these. Ooh. Okay, this looks cute. I wonder. Oh wow! Oh my gosh, this is so cool. So we have like a little cutlery set which is freaking awesome. So you know, we've got a spoon, knife and a fork, and also a metal straw as well. This is so cool! Another item that is incredibly useful as well, and this was from Hey Atlas Creative. Ooh, very cute. We have Sister Apple's Surprise Bath and Shower Gel Fresh Apple. This is um, a collab with Lovely and Illumicrate. Ooh, that smells really good. Definitely very apple-y. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I just also almost stuck my nose in the bottle. And this is from Lovely Skincare. Oh! <laughs> okay, so next up we have the collectible coins. So these are included in every single box. The first collectible coin that was included also came with a necklace that had little magnetic pendants. So you could attach these and have different designs on them and wear them around your neck. But this month we have Lila Bard, designed by Mono Lime Art. And she's so beautiful. Look at that sassy expression. I love it. Love her. She is everything. The last thing included in this month's box is of course the book. Ooh, this looks so pretty. Oh my gosh. Oh, amazing. So the book included in this Illumicrate box is Gideon the Ninth by Tamsin Muir. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. I've been seeing this everywhere and I'm very, very excited about it. Oh, Yes, how cool does this look? It's also signed by the author as well, which is super cool. It says Gideon the Ninth unveils a solar system of swordplay, cutthroat politics, and lesbian necromancers. Oh my god. I just I'm very, very excited about this. I've been seeing this all over social media as well, so I'm really hoping to get to reading this one quite soon too. Might be a good one to read around the Halloween season. One last thing at the bottom of the box, it looks like we've got this card promoting Sweet Black Waves by Christina Perez that has a map on the back as well. Here we have everything included in the August Illumicrate box, a super, super wonderful and very handy box with the really useful items as well. There we go for Illumicrate. Let's move on to Fairy Loot. Here we have 
the fairy loot box with the gorgeous content card in the front as well. Here is the illustration. The theme for the August fairy loot box is things are not what they seem. Let's, let's take a look inside and see what we can find. I like the look of this item here. By the sound of this, I think we might have another cutlery set, which is quite a coincidence, but we have this gorgeous little pink bag here. Ooh, God, these are pretty. Look at these, look at these. Oh my gosh, oh cool. Okay, so we have a fork, a spoon, and a set of chopsticks as well. And they're rainbow. On the fork and the spoon as well, there are a couple of inscriptions. One says, mirrors have an uncanny way of telling the truth. And even in the future, the story begins with once upon a time. So these feature quotes from the Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. And then on the top, this gorgeous logo is from Taraja. Ooh, looks like we might have some scrunchies. I am definitely a fan. The blue ones have little keys. The red, I think it's a bow and arrow. And then on the green, we have some daggers. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so these are inspired by the Graceling series by Kristen Kishore. Another thing designed by the one and only Taraja. So each one of these is inspired by one of the covers from Graceling. So of course the green with the dagger. We have Graceling. Then the red one is from Fire with the bow and arrow. I do have a copy of Bitter Blue here. It's somewhere in the depths of the shelves down there. So you're just gonna have to trust me that it has the keys on the cover. Let's go for this, which I assume is a candle. This candle says Thomas Cresswell chocolate coffee. Ooh. Mmm. I just love chocolate scented candles. It's my happy place, okay? So this is an exclusive candle from Flick the Wick, the illustration of Thomas on the front here, also by Taraja. And I think this is from Stalking Jack the Ripper. Ooh, let's take a look at this mysterious thing. The one ring to rule them all pocket mirror. This is so pretty. I'm a fan of this. Oh, hello, pimples. Looking fine. And this one is from Fairy Loot. Next up, ooh, this is gorgeous. So obviously this is from The Merciful Crow. And then we have a quote on the back as well, which says, one way or another, we always feed the crows. The material's really thick as well. I'm a fan of this. Okay, but the smell of this takes me back to the days when I worked in a shoe store. Just the smell of some of the shoes really reminds me of this. Interesting. Oh, wow. This is gorgeous. We have an Ember in the Ashes pillowcase. Um, so obviously, oh wow, Sabata here. Oh my gosh, look at that. <gasps> These characters are so cool. So this side is designed by Katie P Letters. This one is from Saint Dree. I need to read this series. I'll get to it soon. <gasps> oh, this is so pretty. Oh my God. We have the most amazing metal bookmark. It's a Mistborn bookmark. It says, let them see my weakness and let them see me overcome it. Brandon Sanderson. The detail on this. Oh my gosh. I also love the color of this as well. It's like a rose gold. Oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> Next we have the two collectible tarot cards. So we have two of these in each of the fairy loot boxes. For this month, we have the star, which looks like Hermione, and also the hanged man, Harry Potter. These are illustrated by Loiana Art and they are stunning. So beautiful. And now we are almost down to the bottom of the box with the book. Oof. The book included in this month's box was The Merciful Crow by Margaret Owen. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Oh, hell yeah. Look at that map. That's amazing. And also, oh my gosh, on the inside of the dust jacket, we have this really cool illustration. Oh my gosh. Oh. That's sick. This is also signed by the author and a couple of other little bits and pieces. We have an author letter, which also has some character illustrations on the other side and fairy scoop with a Q&A with the author and some information about the September box. Awesome, looks great, but back to the book. This sounds like such a cool one. It's set in a world where there are different magical casts and Fi, the main character belongs to the crows. They have bone magic, which uses the teeth of dead witches, which sounds really cool. The crown prince faces death and the crow ends up striking a bargain with the prince and his bodyguard. And it sounds really cool. Very, very excited by this one. But there you have it, the August fairy loot box in all of its glory. Some really cool items in this one as well. I'm just, this is my new favorite bookmark. I'm gonna say it. I haven't even read Mistborn, but like the actual design and the color and the like 
cutouts as well. Oh, it's just so beautiful. Moving on to the last two boxes, both of them from the YA Chronicles. The first one I have here is the Deviate box. Now I got it without the book because I already own a couple of copies of it. But let's see what all of the wonderful lifelike themed goodies are going to be. So... Ooh, oh, we've got a mug. Okay, let me just let me just get rid of that. Okay, hell yeah. Let's take a look at this beautiful thing. The mug says stronger together, together forever, and has a really, really cool design as well. It's a good size mug too. I'm a huge fan of this. Oh, just makes me so happy. And the art on this is from the amazing Reddit Midnight. Next up, let's take a look at this. So we have a candle from the book Hangover, Lemon Fresh, hell yeah, oh my god, the, sm the scent, Lemon Meringue. I hope it's everything I expect it to be. That'd be really good. Okay, really cool. Oh, that smells really good. <laughs> like, you can definitely get the meringue in here as well. Oh, just like lemon and sugar, man. I don't like meringue, but I love lemon tarts. This just makes me so happy. Now I want a lemon tart. <laughs> oh, it smells really, really fucking delicious. Ooh, so the next item we have here is Lemon Lift, a tea from Australian Tea Masters. This is a soothing herbal blend to help beat the winter blues. Lemongrass, yum, I love lemongrass. Lemon myrtle, lemon peel, hibiscus, licorice, and spearmint. Interesting. Not the biggest fan of licorice. I have my days, but the rest of this sounds really delicious. As long as it's like a very subtle hint of licorice, I think I'm going to love that tea. Next up, we have what looks like three little metallic B bookmarks, which are really cool. They're kind of like paperclip likes, so you stick them over the end there. But this is kind of inspired by a character that you meet in Deviate, the second book in the series. So really cool. I love that there's also three in here. If you lose one, it's okay. You've still got two more. And lastly, we have a couple of paper items. So we have a postcard for Deviate with the Australian cover and also a bookmark. So on the one side, it says Deviate, lifelike number two. And then on the back, it says hope is all we have. Really, really cool design. So this was the Deviate goodie box from the YA Chronicles. I still need to finish reading Deviate. I've Read a little bit of it, but I had to put it down to focus on some other things, but I've been really enjoying it. Can't wait to go back, and I'm totally going to be using the bookmarks while I'm reading it. Very last box of the day, we have the July or August YA Chronicles box. Dun, 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 dun. So here we have the inside. <gasps> ooh, 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 hello, hello. Okay, so this is what got me really excited. Oh my god, we have a little baby Thestral. This is one of the Funko Pop mini keychains. It has a Thestral and it's so beautiful. Fuck, it's cute. <laughs> I love this. It's so cute. Next up, we have a candle. This is also from the book Hangover. It says Iron Teeth Wyverns. The scent is ginger, bergamot, frankincense, and woods. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. Very earthy scent to it, but mmm. Mmm. The next item I have here is from That's So Lovely Dear, the amazing, amazing Chammy. If you're not following her, please do. She is a queen. She is amazing, and she has her own Etsy shop with the most beautifully designed pins you've ever seen. And this one is a gorgeous moth that is white with rose gold embellishments and details. I'm going to assume that this is also inspired by Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor because moths are a big thing in that and it's just so pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we have a Six of Crows sticker. This is from Loiana and it's so beautiful. Look at our babies, our precious babies. This is such a gorgeous sticker. Now I need to figure out where to put it. We're almost at the bottom of the box, but we have a couple of bookmarks. So first of all is the YA Chronicles bookmark. It says Flights of Fantasy, the theme for this month. And then really cool dragon illustration on the back. And then we also have this Storm Crow bookmark. Can you guess what the book might be? The book included in this YA Chronicles box is The Storm Crow by Kaylin Josephson. It is a beautiful hardcover as well. God. Ah! There's also a signed book plate, which is really cool. And there's another amazing map on the end papers of this book as well. It's so cool. Oh! Damn! 
This is one sexy naked book. Holy crap. I've been wanting to pick this up for a little while now. I do have an advanced copy of it, but I just haven't gotten around to it yet. But I hope to, again, also read this one really soon. It sounds so cool. It's set on this island where elemental crows used to be a part of every aspect of life. But the Aleutian Empire invades and pretty much destroys all of the crows. The main character, Thea, has dreamed of becoming a crow rider. And I think she's going to be forced into a marriage with the Aleutian crown prince. But then she finds a crow egg. And, uh... Who knows what's going to happen from there? I don't know. I'm excited to find out. So this was the YA Chronicles box. Some really awesome items in here. <sighs> Guys, I'm so excited about these two. I'm definitely putting this Thestral on my keychain and it's going with me everywhere. But that is also the end of this unboxing. So thanks for sticking with me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you very soon in a new one. But until then, I'll talk to you in the comments. Bye!